Welcome back adventure riders, another off-road motorcycle adventure riding tip and today we want to talk about how to control your adventure motorcycle standing up, right? Obviously riding off-road we're standing up a lot and we have the video that we broke down the three common, three common mistakes that we see a lot and one of them was the body position and especially standing up a lot of people struggle with that position so if you haven't watched that video make sure you check the link below that will kind of give you an idea of where we want you to be on the bike now controlling the bike standing up it all starts with your first point of contact at the foot pack right so down here first point of contact also the lowest point of contact so you will have the most impact on where your bike is going by what you're doing on your foot pack so foot placement is important we want to make sure that we're on the balls of our feet that gives us a little bit of play here you're able to drop your heel and work in your ankles instead of standing on your heel and only being able to work in your knees right that is one of the most common mistakes we see is people standing like this they have to turn their feet out right they're on their heel if they turn their toes in they will either stand on the brake pedal or the um, shift lever so they turn their feet out that in turn also turns their knees out and now they're working here and right away from the side view you can tell that this is not a great position right you're just pushing down on the bike i drop my heels right away you can see here i have good leverage on the bike now i can work from here i'm close to the frame there's no gap between my foot and the frame down there so this is really the position that you want to be in when you're riding standing up so now this is what this body position looks like when you're on the bike you can see I'm completely centered my chest doesn't really go away from center of the bike my elbows are slightly bent and then my full focus is on my first point of contact at the foot pack you can tell how tight I have the bike between my legs and then when I want to make direction changes or turn the bike in I just drop the left heel or the right heel depending on where I want to go and the bike follows my lead so now you're in this position right you're standing balls of your feet you're dropping your heels slightly now you want to start controlling the bike and the best way to do it especially on a heavy bike like this is by just transferring your weight on your foot peg right you want to make sure you have the bike nice and tight as you're coming up to a section let's say you want that bike to go towards the left you drop your left heel a little bit right so you're riding you drop your left heel the bike immediately will react and start leaning into the left right depending on how much you want to do to get the bike back you drop your right heel to counterbalance that and all of that happens with just a little bit of heel dropping so not a lot of movement you're not all over the bike you're very efficient you're on top of the bike on top of the weight so just by dropping your heel one way or another the bike will react and it will be really easy for you to keep control of the bike compared to turning the bars or throwing your your weight around on top of the bike it's not a very efficient way um, it also throws the bike off balance a lot so the more you can just stay centered on the bike and do all of your little um, um, weight changes on the foot peg just down here you can tell the bike just nice and tight between my legs and fully in control so the most common question is okay like this is my position how do I use the um, rear brake or how do I shift and obviously in order to do that you have to step forward right either you shift down you shift up or let's say this is the brake you just move your foot down you sh you use the brake and then you move your foot back right so in order to do that you just move your foot slightly back and forth very easy just make sure you stay tight here so you keep control of the bike what most riders do is they're standing on the bike like this and they have to turn the foot back in to engage their controls so instead of just moving back and forth nice and tight with the bike they have their foot turned out have to turn it back in you can already tell by this position how far my toes are sticking out so if you're riding on a trail with your toes sticking out like this the chances of you catching an edge somewhere and just ripping your foot off the foot pack twisting your knee twisting your hip out like it's a not a great not a safe position to be in so not only do you have a lot more control of the bike by having your feet in this position it will also keep you safe especially on tight single trail one of the biggest benefits of riding in this position 
is just how easy it is and how quick it is to adapt to changing terrain. And you can see in this clip now, we're gonna come up on a bunch of rain ruts and it's easy for me to just drop my heels a little bit more. That brings my hips back and I can just, without changing anything else in my upper body, ride across this terrain. Guys, really quick, before we get back into the riding tip, please leave a comment below. We've really enjoyed engaging with you in the last couple of videos. It's been a cool back and forth. Uh, let us know what you're struggling with when you're riding. We're always looking for new video ideas. So if you let us know what you want to see, we can make those videos and kind of just, you know, give you guys some tips in the comments. So do us that favor, leave a comment below. So now you have your foundation at the first point of contact on the foot pack all set. You have the bike under control. You can see in these clips on these gravel roads, my chest, my upper body is really far forward. And you want to make sure that you really get on top of the weight of the bike. You can see in the side shot here, the majority of the weight of the bike is right here with the engine, with the fuel tank, radiators, forks, There's a lot of weight in the front of the bike. So if you're standing, and you're behind the weight, you can tell here by the bike on the center stand, all that weight comes to the back of the bike. So now when I'm accelerating, I'm just gonna have a ton of traction in the rear, not a lot of control in the front, and the bike's just gonna go straight, like ne not necessarily where I want it to go. So you wanna make sure you really get on top of the handlebars here. And we always recommend sort of lining up your, your mouth guard on your helmet, with your, your windshield and the little computer here. So this is like your general area. Obviously, depending on your height, that will um, change a little bit. But in general, you wanna be over the bars. Now, when you're turning, and these clips are a great example, you're leaning forward and you're picking up the throttle a little bit, the rear end becomes really light. So now you can steer the bike with the rear end sliding a little bit. And you can see here, I'm getting on the throttle, the rear end spins a little bit. The bike comes around and I have full control of the bike in my feet. So when you're doing that, you know, just like we explained earlier, if you want the bike to go left, you drop your left heel a little bit. When you pick up the throttle like that, you want to make sure that you have that under control. Obviously, now you're going a little bit faster. The weight changes become a little bit quicker. So just make sure that as the bike starts to slide, that weight transfers to the outside foot peg. The bike will slide out and you have to make sure you transfer now your way to the outside foot peg, push the bike back underneath you, and then the bike will turn, pick up traction, and get you right back on the trail. Okay, this is it. This is how you control your adventure motorcycle standing up. And as I said in some of the other riding tips, you can work on this technique, on this body position when you're riding on the street, right? You don't necessarily have to go off-road and ride trails. Sometimes it's a lot easier to just do it on tarmac and find your point, right? And find where you put your foot, find where your upper body is on the bike and how the bike reacts when you're accelerating in this position so that then when you go off-road, you're already familiar with it. You can just focus on the terrain. Your body position is taken care of. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Every week we drop a new riding tip, bike reviews, product reviews. So we appreciate your support and we'll see you guys next week for another video.